Hey y'all, it's story time. <laughs> so today, we're going to be talking about misrepresentation. Now, I myself, I'm not always very well spoken and when I try to, you know, relay the information I want to say to other people, I, I kind of feel like the more educated I've become over the years, uh, sometimes I, I feel more dumb than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> Only because I kind of feel like Kelly Bundy. You know, the more information that's packed into my head, you know, past information that I've acquired is basically becomes non-existent. And so, when I try to, you know, say things, you know, come up with, you know, words or, you know, memories, I have a really hard time of, you know, thinking back and, and kind of relaying the information. Uh, so I could be making dinner, maybe I'm making tacos or something, and I ask my wife to, you know, go into the icebox and, and get me the cream cheese out. And, you know, she'll kind of look at me like I'm crazy, and, uh, and her response will be, do you mean the sour cream? And I'll look at her like, dude, you know what I mean. And so her general response is, how do I know what you mean when you don't mean what you say? So that, that kind of parlays to uh, today's video. Romantic or idiotic? Loving or abusive? I'm going to let you all decide. <laughs> so we're back in uh, our home back in Texas and uh, we're up in the office one day. And I just kind of look at her. I don't know what we were talking about, but you know, not important to the story. So I just kind of very lovingly, you know, majestically stroke her cheek, and I tell her, "Honey, every day with you is an eternity." <laughs> her eyes get super wide. I swear, to God, it felt like I had run her over with my car again. Yes, again, and that is a story for another time. <laughs> so. Again, I'm not the best at, uh, you know, expressing myself appropriately. Uh, things that I say are normally misinterpreted or not represented the, the correct way. So in my eyes, what I was telling her was, you know, I love her so much that we've been together for so long. It feels like we've known each other our whole lives. Now, what she heard was, well, if I'm just the cow that you have to wake up next to every day... <laughs> So uh, to me, it was a very loving and romantic gesture, but I was just uh, poor quality as far as relaying that love towards her. <laughs> um, not the same day, you know, this was a separate occasion. Again, we're back in the office, uh, we're on the computer looking through some of her old photos, and uh, we're scrolling through a ton. I come across one picture I really like. I look at the photo, I'm like, babe, you look really good in that photo, god damn. How much makeup are you wearing? Again, unintentionally funny, you know, because I wasn't trying to be insulting. I'm just, I just do a piss poor job of relaying the information the way that I want to. Again, in my eyes, what I said was, you look really good in that picture. Pause. End of sentence. Next sentence. Or next statement, next question, how much makeup are you wearing? Two statements, uh, two thought processes, but in her eyes, it was just one long comma separated sentence. You look really good. Goddamn, how much makeup are you wearing? Implying that I only think that she looked good because uh, of the, the amount of makeup she had on. And as she likes to say, you know, she wasn't wearing that much makeup anyway. Uh, I don't remember when it happened, 2007, 2010, 2012, who knows, uh, it was a long time ago, and uh, again, the dates aren't important, it's just one of those situations where I just do a real piss poor quality of relaying information the way that I like. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about it this time, but I, I feel like, you know, we, we could end on a high note <laughs> uh, here in Louisville. We, we first got here in December of 17. Uh, we moved from Texas. Now, born and raised in Chicago, so, you know, very familiar with, you know, cold weather, snow, you know, driving in the snow and whatnot. 
but the way that our house uh, sits, our driveway is on a downward, you know, decline. Um, so you got to go down that driveway and towards the back. <laughs> that was kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> got ghosts in my house here. Um, so the 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 garage is in the back <laughs> in the house. Uh, so one day, you know, it snows. We're parked behind the house. Um, the whole entire driveway is covered in ice. Cannot get up the darn hill. Tried driving on the little grass that separates my driveway from the neighbor's driveway. Wouldn't work. So, but you know, earlier that morning, I was walking down the driveway, slipped on my butt. I can't even remember the last time I slipped on ice. I haven't lived in Texas for 13 years or something. It hurt. <laughs> Uh, so later on that morning, uh, when my wife comes out and, you know, she's bundled up and she's trying to help me, uh, lay down some wood so I could drive over it, you know, get up the hill. She ends up slipping and, and falling on her butt in the same exact spot. <laughs> now, mind you, I'm sitting in my SUV at the time. So push the button, put my head out the window. You all right? <laughs> For whatever reason, she likes to tell people that I ran over her that day. And it's one of those things that when you tell a story so often, it becomes believable or it becomes real in your eyes. And even when she's talking to me, she's like, you ran me over with your car. I was on the ground and you kept driving forward. <laughs> uh, she was just ticked off that. I didn't jump out of the car. Baby, 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 are you okay? I'm like... <laughs> As she looked at it, I am just kept my butt in a nice, you know, nice heated chair inside the car. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's intentionally being idiotic or, or maybe I'm just slowing the head sometimes. I don't know. But like I said, a lot of my actions and a lot of the things I say are just so out there, so dumb, so idiotic that you know, even though I'm not very good with one-liners, you know, I'm not stand-up comedian funny. It, but because but my actions are just so crazy that you just can't help but to laugh, and um, and this is one of the situations. And um, pfft, again. Hours and hours and hours of, of talking if I wanted to bring up every single thing that I've said or done. <laughs> so uh, I am going to end this video again. I'm going to try and keep these videos as, uh, as short and sweet as possible. And uh, if anybody has any questions or you know want to know more, uh, I'll definitely answer your questions in the, in the comments if, if necessary. Or if you want to watch a video instead, I could do that too, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I gotta stop doing that. Every time I try and end a video, I always catch myself re-watching my videos, going on talking for 30 minutes more. <laughs> uh, as you notice, I did resituate my, my man cave. I don't know. I, I, I can't keep calling it that, but I don't have a better term. So, so the original cabinets behind me, I did move them over. Uh, did get a handyman come in and finally patch up a few of the holes. So I have to have uh, this room rearranged. Uh, that's why I do get the new shelving and the built-in shelves and, and what have you. Uh, be able to display my collections a whole lot better. Plus, I really don't like having the two doors right there blocked off. But again, you know, I got to keep everything against the wall. Try and uh, square these things off as much as possible. So I'm thinking in a couple months or so, uh, when they finally do come in and are able to build the shelves and stuff that I want, I'm going to do another room tour. I think that would be really fun. Just kind of give a different layout of the room and, you know, include some of the additional collections I've added. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye for now.